All right, so this is part two of fill stripping. This time, I am uh, not going to do any kind of cleaning or lubrication or anything like that. Um, this is just breaking it completely down. So I'm going to be disassembling this gun pretty much all the way down. So if you're looking to do like a trigger job or you want to do polishing, things like that sort, you want to do a really <clears throat> deep cleaning, this is the time to do it. So, or this is how you do it. So first, empty. Nothing in the chamber. We are all clear. All right, point it in the safe direction. Pull the trigger. Grab the slide, cock it back about a quarter of an inch and uh, pull the slide lock down and push your slide forward, come all apart. Take the spring out, <clears throat> take a barrel out, set that off to the side. So we're not going to be doing anything with that. So these are your two components today that we're going to be completely stripping down. So let's start with the, uh, set the body of it off to the side. We'll start with the slide taking out the trigger or sorry the firing pin and such so first what we need to do is we need to take this slide cover plate so this back plate off in order to do that if you try to pull it out right now it's going to be really hard that's because there is your firing print your firing pin is pushing it to where it it's not allowing it to all right actually it's the this what they call a spacer sleeve that's what's preventing it so if you here's the trigger or here's the firing pin sorry here's the firing pin push the firing pin back and then you could kind of exposes this black sleeve what you want to do is <clears throat> push down on that see how it moves all right so what you want to do push that down and then you could slide this cover and be careful because there are several pieces that are spring loaded in here so put your thumb completely over it take this cover off set that off to the side and now you can slowly move your thumb so now you'll see that you have the extractor depressor depressor plunger which that's right here and then the firing pin and firing pin sleeve so go ahead and take these out so first we'll take the firing pin all you do slide that back and here you have your firing pin your firing pin spring your and your spacer sleeve and it's held on by these plastic cups all right so I'll show you how to take those off here in a minute so set that off to the side <clears throat> next thing you're gonna do you're going to pull out your extractor depression depressor plunger that's what this thing is if you can get it out there we go so here it's usually two pieces actually there's three pieces so you got your extractor depressor plunger your spring and then your spring loaded bearing that's what that black thing is right there but you could put it back together set that off to the side as well all right next thing you want to do here is the firing pin safety so if you push this in this is spring loaded as well this is what's holding your extractor in place so if you push this down you could pull out your extractor and of course it is spring loaded so when you come back there you go just flip it upside down it'll fall out but um, watch out it is spring loaded there's your firing pin safety and the spring 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all your components for your slide. So how to take these cups off your firing pin. So easiest way I found out was to stick it back in this hole the opposite way and you want to push down on the spring and then lift up on these little cups and they'll come off and then slowly let your spring loose because it will fly off if you don't be careful and here I don't know if you can see but those are your two cups they just kind of fall in between the spring and your firing pin <clears throat> And take it out of your sleeve. How to put it back. Same thing. Slide it back in here. Put the spring back in there. Compress the spring. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of a pain to do. Especially with gloves. But. of it now these are two pieces so I might take my gloves off and do this it's a little bit harder than expected it keeps on getting caught on my gloves so again spring pressing down on the spring and here are your two cups slide it in there and there you have it back and there so that's it for the slide it's all your components let's set this off to the side now all your pieces of course you could just clean them um, this is your part if you want to polish any of those components right now is your chance to polish them um, you could change out the spring uh, this one in particular I believe the spring has been changed out and uh, at one point the trigger or the firing pin was polished as well All right, so now to the body. What you want to do, take one of these, get you, I'm using a 332 punch. And what you're going to do is you got your locking pin or locking block pin, and then you have your trigger housing pin. That's the bigger one. And then back here, you got the trigger pin. So there's three different pins that you're going to pop out and all three of them are different sizes and lengths. You'll be able to tell the difference. So go ahead and stick it in there. Set that off to the side. Next one, pop that off as well. I filled them in there. And then this one, I believe you could just pop it out with your, yeah, there you go. All right. So as you can see, all three of these are different lengths. And then the one is a lot fatter than the other one. Set those off to the side. You know where, what goes where. All right, so now that you got those knocked out, you can go ahead and uh, take your locking block, which is this piece here. You should be able to just pull on it or you could kind of use this to pry on it. Careful, don't use too much force. Force It shouldn't take a whole lot to come out. Okay. 
There we go. Yeah. Oh. So this was my slide stop lever. So this was basically held in between one of the pins and this. So should have took that out first. But here's the slide stop lever and then your locking block. Put those right here. All right. So now you got those out of the way, you should be able to pull your trigger out. All you do, just grab right here, slide up. Oh, that's it. Slip this off to the side. So here you have your trigger. You can do, this is spring loaded as well. And uh, all these components are upgraded as well. So different springs, everything's polished. Um, but yeah, this is basically your trigger mechanism. So you have your trigger, your trigger bar. This is your trigger spring back here and here. If you can see that. There you go, trigger spring. And then you have your connector back here, which you can pop out. Just push that through. And it'll pop up from the other side. And uh, yeah, your trigger housing right here. So this one's adjustable and you could, there's a screw right there. You could screw it in or out and adjust the stiffness of it. But there you have it. All your components completely broke down. All right, so let's put it all back together. So take the trigger housing. This, all you do, just slide it in there. Oh. That's it pretty simple then what you're gonna do is take your locking block slide it down in there like so next you're gonna take your slide stop lever and you'll be able to see it slides in right there and just kind of hangs out right there and it's gonna be kind of loose until you get that pin in there all right so now what you're going to do is start putting these pins back together into the bottom one anyways now slide that back in there push this guy right through there you go make sure these are sunk in evenly on both sides is this one all right perfect <clears throat> so there we have that now putting the slide back together start with the extractor and your fire pin pin safety stick that down in there put your extractor back in and then push this down and then push your extractor in the way it stays in place and then you're going to take your extractor depressor plunger stick that down in there your firing pin stick that back down in there all right so take your back plate what i do is i'll push it with my finger the firing pin spacer or sleeve get that in there and then I'll take the punch and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on the extractor depressor plunger as I'm sliding the plate back and there you have it 
And then barrel, spring. Line up the slide. All right, there we have it. So there we have the Glock complete disassemble. If you have any questions, please subscribe, comment below, and uh, do another another video another time. Till then.